Right, in this video, we have created a report called ZS Flight ALV. And in that report, we want to take all the table data from S Flight and display it in a nice and tidy ALV. Um, <clears throat> to do that, we are going to create a local class with two methods. One, get all the data from S Flight, and two, display it in an ALV. Then underneath that, we are going to use that local class to create an object. And we're going to call the two methods um, and display that data in an ALV. So let's go ahead and create our local class. And let's call that local class S flight is ALV. And let's start off with our definition section. And shift F1 to format. Now let's specify our public, private, and protected sections. So the first one is our private section. And I think it needs to be in this order as well, protected section and our public section. Fantastic. Oh, it's this area here. Ah, you see, sections are in the wrong order. So we need to have uh, its public section at the top, then protected section, and finally private section. So under the public section, or rather, let's do our data elements first in the private section. We are going to add some data elements, and the first one will be local table, uh, local table underscore s flight, and that will be type table of s flight. That's fine. And we also need a local object for our ALV, which will be type ref to cl underscore salv underscore table from sap yep that's right perfect so that is in our private section so only our class can see that now we need to create some public methods for our um, report to talk to and to use so methods and our first method will be let's call it get all S flight data. And now let's call this one display. Display S flight data. And that should be fine. And uh, now you can see uh, in Eclipse, there is a handy error that says, we do not have an implementation for this particular class. Um, and you can use your keyboard, keyboard you can hover over the uh, class definition and press Control-1. And you can say, create implementation for this class. And it'll do it all automatically. And here are our two methods as well. Very handy keyboard shortcut there. So let's get all of the data using simple select statement, select all from S flight into table. And we're going to use the table from our class, shift F1 to format. That looks fine. Now let's proceed to display it. Um, so to do this, we need to call the class the CLSALV table factory method, like so, table. I'm pressing control space bar to get this little context menu, and then shift enter to get the full, oh, sorry. Uh, then I need to choose the factory method, so the, the CL underscore SALV table factory method, and I get all the parameters I need, I should, so wrap this in a try block as well. Try, end try. 
And we're not going to worry about exporting any container details for now. We're going to just do a simple ALV. And let's adjust all of this. We'll, we'll come back to this catch statement shortly. So we now need to pass in to this importing parameter our local object from our private section. And the table we want to change in question is our local table S flight. And let's have a look here. There we go. So it's asking us to catch this message, which we should absolutely, absolutely do. So we'll just do something simple. Pass this into Alex message. And let's see, under here, we can just, let's use the demo output classroom SAP to just display it for us for now. We don't need any of this nonsense. We can just pass it, or we should be able to just pass it. LX message. Right, now that we've done that, let's fix this. Okay, oh, into data rather for inline declarations. All right, so let's have a look. Our two methods are here, displays flat data, and get all the data. That looks fine. Now, once we've called this factory method, we can then take our object. Oops. We can then take our new ALV object and we can call display. And that'll physically display the table. So now that we have this class ready to go, we can begin uh, to use it in our report. So here we are going to create the object itself. And again, we can use in our declarations for this and we'll call it S flight. Uh, what should we call it? Let's call it local object S flight ALV. And that's going to equal new local class underscore S flight ALV. And that will create a new instance of this class above. And let's just see why is this what's the problem here? Ah. We need to include start of selection. Very important so we know when the report actually runs from. Pop that there. Perfect. So we now have this handy dandy object and we're going to use that object to first get to get the actual data we want to display and keep it in the we're going to keep we we could keep it in the program um, in the report now if we wanted to but in this case we're just going to call the two different methods and let the class um, handle the data as we go along. Although that's not necessarily best practice, but we'll run with it for now. So we're going to get all the data. And finally, we are going to display it. Shift F1 to format, Control S, Control F2 to check, Control F3 to activate. And if all goes well, we can press F8 and it'll work. There you go. So this is um, a very simple, and sort of straightforward, slightly OO way of taking data from his flight and displaying it in a sort of tidy, uh, gooey um, ALV table. Um, we're, in the next few videos, we'll go through tweaking this um, from columns to adding a toolbar and etc. cetera. Um, if you have any other uh, suggestions that you'd like to see with regards to these ALVs, don't forget to comment down below. And if you like the video, please do hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.